Florida did set another record number of new coronavirus cases in the state. Nearly 2,800 in just one day, and that right there is putting communities on high alert and leaving many wondering what is next. Aid is on your side, taking your questions to the health care professionals. Deanne Roberts is live from the Bay Care Health System office in Clearwater. Good morning to you, Deanne. Hey, good morning to you both. So as you mentioned, a lot of questions surrounding the effectiveness of different safety measures we've been seeing that claim to slow the spread of COVID-19. Facial masks, temperature checks. To answer all of those questions, I'm joined now by Dr. Laura Arline. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And thank you. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and start with the big topic here, facial coverings. Are they effective and how should people be actually using them? Yes, they, in fact, they are effective, and that's one of the biggest measures that we can take to reduce the spread of COVID-19. As you know, there's a, an increase in the community spread right now in Florida, and in particular, the Tampa Bay area, and wearing those facial coverings is really important in terms of reducing that spread. Can you explain the why behind that? A lot of people are like, okay, I have to put on this mask, but yeah. why is it protecting me? How will it protect me? Yeah. And that's a great question. And right now we're not wearing masks because we're socially distanced. But you have to remember that this is a virus that spreads by respiratory droplets. And that means if somebody coughs or if they sneeze, that's going to travel. And even standing in close proximity to one another and having a normal conversation, you can imagine that respiratory droplets may be exchanged and that can be all it takes. So wearing that facial covering will help to protect each other. So it's I keep you safe, you keep me safe. That's a good way to think about it. And let's talk about cleaning your facial mask. I mean, a lot of people just kind of put it in their car, take it out, put it on. Should they be cleaning it? And if so, what's the proper way to do that? So the proper way to do that depends on the mask type. So there's cloth masks and those should be cleaned basically every night, just like you would do you know, with your laundry. So you can put them right in your laundry and clean them that way. But the uh, surgical masks, the kind that are the three layer that loop behind the ears, those would need to be cleaned in terms of if they get damaged or if they get soiled, then you would want to clean. If they get damaged, you got to switch them out. If they get soiled and you can't breathe well through them, you'd want to switch them out. And then in terms of saving it in between uses, putting it in a container or putting it into a um, paper bag is one of the best ways to save it. And you put it with the part that you put towards your face, oh, you okay. fold that in. Cool. Really quickly, I know we're running out of time here. If you could briefly touch on the effectiveness of temperature checks. Mm -hmm. So a temperature check will catch folks who are actively sick if they're showing a temperature. So that's why in some cases, temperature scans may miss people who have COVID-19 because not everybody who has COVID-19 has a temperature. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Stick around. Coming up on News Channel 8 at 6 and 630, we'll be answering your questions in regards to all things COVID-19. I'm live in Tampa this morning. DM Roberts, 8 on your side.